Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to enable hyper-threading technology on Intel Alder Lake and above CPUs, on Hackintosh. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Since the release of Alder Lake CPUs, 12th Gen, Intel has introduced the concept of P-Cores, Performance Cores, and E-Cores, Efficiency Cores. Due to this architecture design, there has been a massive increase in terms of performance in the recent CPU generations, as compared to its previous generations. Although widely supported by the Windows operating system and other OS in the industry, the Mac OS side has an underlying issue due to such architecture. On the Mac OS side, the hyper-threading status in the system report seems to be absent. Here you can also see that the hyper-threading technology is disabled. Let me show you the benchmark when hyper-threading is disabled. For benchmarking, I'll be using Geekbench 6. And the CPU used in this build is an Intel Core i7-13700K. Here's the result of the benchmark, when hyper-threading is disabled. Now, to enable the hyper-threading on your Alder Lake and above CPUs on Hackintosh, you'll need any PList editor, and this CPU topology rebuild text. Now, mount ESP of your system drive. After mounting the ESP, keep CPU topology rebuild kext into the kext folder, under EFIOC. After placing the kext, open the config plist. After opening the plist, go to the kernel tab, and here add the entry for the recent kext. After adding the entry for topology kext, make sure to arrange the entries in the proper order as shown. After arranging, go to the NVRAM section, and then select the last UUID. Now in boot args key, add the following boot arg. After adding the boot arg, close all while saving the plist and then eject the mounted ESP, and then restart your PC. When booting, make sure to reset the NVRAM ones. Now after booting back, let me show you that the hyper-threading technology is enabled under the system info. Now, let me run the benchmark, and then we'll check the difference. And here's the result of the benchmark, when hyper-threading is enabled. After enabling the hyper-threading, there's a significant difference between the benchmark scores. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.